Hi, I'm Anna Olson, and let's celebrate National Cupcake Day together on behalf of the OSPCA. Now, to inspire you to make cupcakes, I'm sharing my recipe for lemon coconut puppy cupcakes. Now these are people-friendly cupcakes, but decorated to look like cute little puppies. Let's start with a cupcake base. I have my dry ingredients here. Cake and pastry flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. I'm just gonna finish sifting that. And I'll add a bit of lemon zest. The flavor in anything lemon-based really actually comes from the zest. I like to work this into the dry ingredients that way the friction of the sugar draws out some of the natural oils within the zest, making the flavor even and mild. Stir that in. Now I'll combine the wet ingredients. I'll start with buttermilk, which adds a natural tang, but is also low in fat. A quarter cup of lemon juice, a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I have two egg yolks and I've saved the whites because I'm going to whip those. And I'll add a touch of vanilla. I'll whisk this together. Now I add this all at once to the dry mixture and stir until blended. At this point, the batter is quite dense, so I like to add some whipped egg whites. The two whites I saved, I've whipped until a soft peak with half a cup of sugar. Now just keep in mind, that's a lot of sugar for these two egg whites, so you can't over whip the egg whites at this point, but it does take about four to five minutes to get them to that soft peak. There we go. I fold the whites in two additions, and don't be concerned when the whites deflate a little bit as you're folding it in, that's factored into the recipe. This recipe makes 24 cupcakes, and I've lined my muffin tin with paper liners, of course, whatever style you prefer. And I do find an ice cream scoop is best to get precise cupcakes every time. It takes about 15 minutes to bake these cupcakes at 375. To test the doneness, press the top of the cupcake. When it springs back, then you know it's done. Now do note, they will only turn a light golden brown. Now that the cupcakes are out and have cooled completely, I can make the frosting. That is the best part about cupcakes after all. This is a basic cupcake buttercream. It's light and fluffy, and I introduce the coconut flavor here. So I start first by beating my room temperature butter and I have five cups of icing sugar sifted. I'm gonna add about two cups of it right now and beat this until it's fluffy. Now it's time to add the liquid. I add six tablespoons of coconut milk. You wanna make sure you shake the tin before you measure it. A little vanilla. And to really punch up that flavor, a bit of coconut extract. Just a half a teaspoon. A little goes a long way. Now I'll beat this in. Now that the coconut milk is blended in, I can add the remaining icing sugar. I'll hold back a cup. I start with four cups and it really depends on how soft your butter is and the temperature outside, how much icing sugar you'll have to add. Basically, I add enough so that it holds its shape when the beaters are lifted. That way you know it'll hold every pattern and design when you're piping. After you've blended all the ingredients, you want to beat the frosting for a minute or two on high speed to really make it nice and fluffy. There we go, nice and fluffy. Now you can make the frosting ahead of time and chill it, but to use it, you want to make sure you soften it up to room temperature and you have to beat it again to make it nice and fluffy. Now the fun part, time to decorate. For a simple but pretty cupcake, I like to use a large star tip in a disposable piping bag. A little tip when you're piping is you actually want to hold your piping bag from the top and squeeze down. That way you're not warming up the buttercream frosting down here. And the final garnish, I like to add a little sprinkle of sweetened flake coconut. That way you know you've got coconut flavor. And just a few white chocolate chips just adds that level of richness that really is nice and complements both the lemon 
and the coconut. Now, if you've set aside some time and you're doing your puppy themed bake sale, you want to know how to make these snowy inspired cupcakes. I used snowy or milou from Tintin as my inspiration. This time I'm using a smaller star tip. It's actually a number 21 star tip. It's a little smaller than the one I used for the coconut. And you want to collect your decor items ahead before you start. So I have large marshmallows that have been cut in half and I have brown candies, red and pink candies for the tongue, the browner for the eyes, and then the large ones are going to be the cute nose right on top of each puppy. So to make the muzzle on the puppy, I take a half of the large marshmallow, I pipe a little of the buttercream to get it to stick, and I put it at about six o'clock on the cupcake. Then I pipe, you want to cover everything in buttercream, pipe up the sides of the marshmallow. What's really nice is as the cupcake sits, the marshmallow softens under the frosting and actually melds into the frosting a little bit. So it's a nice soft texture. You barely know it's there. Cover the top and I paint stripes over the surface of the cupcake. That's the rest of the face for the puppy. Can you start seeing how it's taking shape? Now for the eyes, I put two chocolate candies very close together and I put the chocolate candies upright, the nose, the tongue goes underneath and the frosting holds everything in place and then the last detail, painting the ears on. Remember any mistakes you may make are edible. You can scrape it off and start again. But I think just like puppies, each one should look a little bit different. They each have their own character. Mm -hmm.